We welcome you back to the clash of the 2017 season. As you see, it is continues to raining. And NASCAR has just made official. We will not race the clash. We will have to wait for tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So, the Air Titans and the Jet Drives worked so hard. But after it stopped training, it will, it will be a tough time. So we'll take another quick commercial break and we'll be back to wrap up the class. We welcome you back to the clash. Uh, you see the air times, they have just stopped and we'll see you tomorrow for the clash. We welcome you back to the 56th running of the day, 2500 but unfortunately NASA has just made the call. We will not run the day 2500. We will have to wait until tomorrow at 2.30 in the evening. We tried so hard to get the 56 running of the day 2500, but we couldn't. So tomorrow, we will run it at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for the 56 running of the day 2500. Coming up next is your Fox Local News, and we'll see you tomorrow for the day 2500. Well, unfortunately, the rain is continuing to fall, and NASCAR has just made official we will not run tonight. We will do it on a doubleheader with tomorrow's extinction race. So we'll see you tomorrow. Now back to more coverage from last year's NASCAR Camp North Truck Series here at Iowa. We welcome you back on a Monday. Getting ready for the 56 for the Daytona 500 here in the 2014 season. Let's go down track side for the campaign. 56 degrees. You see the 90, you see the 99, you see the 1993 winner, Tiny Lung. And then Ford has one of the last three 500 wins. Wins as the rain. There'll be rain later today. We've been waiting. January, December, January. And now we are here in February. Let's get ready for the Daytona 500 on Fox. Oh, man. I've been ready ever since this last season came to a close. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing the Daytona 500 <laughs> As they go into turn number three, post our post are Austin Hill decides to choose the outside lane. Martrix or uh, Mac Kenseth on the bottom, and then on the top is Denny Hale and his teammate. As Marcus Emerson now stuck in the middle, and now Austin Dillon's gonna come and lead the first lap in the Daytona 500. How exciting! The three car leads the first lap in the Daytona 500. As Trevor and Kyle Larson work that high lane, that but will it work? <laughs> Here in the Daytona 500, let's take your thoughts side by side. You saw Denny Hamlin's number 11 to Toyota go to the go back to ninth place because he had a piece of trash on the wheel, so that now means they're pushing number 41 Chevy out front. You see Denny Hamlin in the back. Mm. Matt, what's up with him? Welcome back to the 56th running of the Daytona 500. You see the biggest news, Kyle Busch has gained 25 spots. Ryan Vick is 16. Jake Gillen and Tim Joe are looking on time. Ryan Vick is 16. 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 Ryan Vick is 16.
on lap 15 out of 200. Uh, Steve Burns, what about Kurt Busch? What's he saying on the radio? Oh my, Kurt Busch just said on the air that, that, he, that he would like to get like a much bigger push from Palmer so that way they could like try to tandem draft and then try to come to pit road once the pit stop cycle open and that way they could like be the first two to come to pit road and that way they could like get a bigger lead. Back to you, Mike. Lap 16 out of 200. We're gonna go to commercial break and we'll be back for the 56 running. Of the Daytona 500 on Fox. <laughs> Welcome back to the 56 running of the Daytona 500 on Fox 19 at 200 laps. Greg Bush still winning the Daytona 500. You can win the buzz. You can win. But Kurt Bush still leads. Paul Mark second. Dale Hart Jr. third. Brian Scott fourth. Marcus Sanders fifth. Denny Hamlin sixth. Are your top six drivers? Well, I'm not out of Tough break for my Truex Jr. He is the first car out of the 500. Kyle Busch is our race leader in Daytona Beach. Welcome back to the Daytona 500 under caution. Here are your Toyota top performers, Kyle Busch, Jimmy Hamlin, Brian Fraser, Dallas, Roman Colwitz, are all Colwitz, cut down a tire earlier, he had to come to Pitt Road, and Alex Bowman running in 17th place. A light rain shower is king, and now it's gone, we'll be back more from Daytona after this. Welcome back to the day. Welcome back to the day. Come on, under the red flag due to a rain shower that was not expected until four o'clock in the afternoon. But now they brought, the, but now they brought the hill down to Pier Road. They're gonna climb out of the cars, get the cars cover, get the cars, get the car covers over their cars. So while well, we're under the red flag, we're gonna take a commercial break here in the 56 running of the Daytona 500. We'll be back with more after this. Welcome back to the 56 running of the Daytona 500. You see the air times are still out there drying the track. Let's take a look back at what was the 2013 season for Brad Keselowski. One win, 16 top 10s for Brad. We'll be back with more from the 56 running of the Daytona 500. We'll be back for more. Welcome back to the 56 running over the Daytona 500. You see the air times and the jet drivers are still out there on the track trying to get the Daytona Super Speedway drive so we can go back to racing. It takes about two and a half hours to drive the track. We just got word that we got a severe thunderstorm warning until 5.05 p.m. So we hope this brief shower can move through and we can resume the 56 Daytona 500. Welcome back to the 56 running of the day, Tunnel 500. We just got word that we're going to start racing around 7.30. But until then, back to more coverage of last year's Daytona 500. We'll see you shortly. Welcome back to the 56 running of the day, Tunnel 500. Almost time to get the end of We'll see you shortly. Welcome back to the 56 running of the day, Tunnel 500. The track. It's almost dry. You see the cars are in the cars. We're just waiting on for the command. And we just want to give like thank you to all of the safety, like the air tines and the jet dryers. They've been out here all day drying the track to try to get the Daytona 500 to resume. And uh, before uh, we go racing, we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you one more time of the coverage of last year's. Daytona 500. We'll see you shortly once we come back from last year's Daytona 500. 
Welcome back to the 56th running of the Daytona 500. The engines are fired. It is almost time to drop the green flag. You see we're on board with Tony Story. He's going to restart. 34 is at the position. Then Derek Long is going to restart the 30th. As uh, we get ready to start, as we get ready to resume the 56th running of the Daytona 500. The pace car is ready. The field about to roll off in just a minute. But we're going to go... But we're going to take another quick commercial break from the 56th running of the day, Tona 500. Once we come back, we'll see cars on the track. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to the 56th running of the Daytona 500. You see the pace car is about to pull off the field. We'll be going to the start finish line. It is time to resume the 56th Daytona 500. After a six hour rain delay, we're going to restart on lap 47 of 200 green flag. Yeah, let's go back racing, boys. <laughs> As they go down the back straightaway, Cobbler is trying to. Cobbler is now the race leader, pulls ahead of Casey Kane. He's got a teammate behind him. And now Cobbler is the first driver to lead the Daytona 500. As they go into turn number three, we're seeing three wide. Cole Witt and Mark Sambro stuck in the middle. Bobby the on the bottom lane. But we're gonna go to commercial break and we'll come back once after these quick messages. <laughs> Welcome back to the 56th running of the Daytona 500. Now, Denny Hamlin is now our new race leader. Then the final between shots by Casey Kane at 5. Kyle Busch lost the lead because he was he had that two gigantic of a lead. And now, Denny Hamlin is our new race leader. Meanwhile, our pollster, Austin Dillon, has still not gained any ground. His crew chief is still trying to stay back there until the lap starts to wind down. But Denny Ham was still the race leader in Daytona Beach, Florida. As you see right now, we're running along with Eric Amaral, Dave, or uh, Steve, what are they saying? What is Amaral saying on the radio? Oh, my God. Oh, we got three wide action. Three wide. Almost four wide. Jeff Gordon is stuck in the middle, but we're going to go to commercial break, and we'll be back for the 56th of the day. Tell me if I'm on, but you want to make a game side by side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the 56th running of the day, Tona 5 on the Kyle Bush. It is now going to be racing, but, Kyle, but Brad Kozlowski is now the new leader. Brad Kozlowski, now our new race leader here in Daytona. And how he got that was just because uh, Kyle Bush got that you guy got that gigantic Steve. Well, my Brad Kozlowski said that he that he that when Brad when uh, Kyle Bush pushes him on the back bumper, he says that he needs to be a little more careful on the back because if he pushes him, he's gonna spin him. Right Almost had the race lead, but Brad Kozlowski got a big shove from Kyle Busch, which his teammate Denny Hamlin's right behind him. As now, Brad Kozlowski leads. We're going to take another quick commercial break, but you won't miss a thing. We're going to take you Fox side by side. Welcome back to the 56th turn of the, of the Daytona 500. Paul Menard taking the race lead away from Brad Kozlowski. But you see in the back, you see you got 200 cars on the bottom. Brian Vickers in his backup car. But now, let's do our first time. Let's do a NASCAR on Fox. Crank it up. Mm -hmm.
Need for speed on her March 14th. 69, now 70. Laps complete in the Daytona 500. Paul Menard, your new race leader. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but you will miss it. We're going to take you fun side by side in the 56 minutes of the Daytona 500. Welcome back to the 56 running of the Daytona 500 car on pit road. Casey Kane was our first taker on pit road. Now he's leads to pit road. Here comes Kyle Busch and his number 18. Oh, trouble around! was Casey Kane coming off of pit road. He going out of the damp spot now. He is around on lap 74 out of 200. So while he spins, we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be back for the 56 running of the Daytona 500. Welcome back to the 56 running of the Daytona 500. The new racer is Brad Kowalski. The trouble makes second. Dale Hart Jr. in third place. Now the two Penske cars come to pit road. You see Kyle Busch during the commercial break. He dragged his equipment out of the pit box and now he's got to serve a pass through penalty. If he doesn't, his, his laps will not count. And, he will be disqualified. Steve, Brad Kozlowski to you. Well, Brad Kozlowski says that he just needs, he wants four tires and some uncle fuel and a little bit of, looks like a little bit of wedge judgment on his car. Meanwhile, Joey Logano saw on his radio that, that something may have gone missed, but he said he wants four tires and some uncle fuel and that's all they said on the radio. You're right, Mike. If Kyle Busch isn't coming, he will be black flag. And if he does, his time will not be counted and he will be disqualified. So now the two Penske cars leave Paul Trevor Bain, the 2011 Daytona 500 winner, is now leading the Great American Race, trying to go for his second Daytona 500. There is Eric Almarola driving Richard Petty's fame number 43. He's won here seven times. And Trevor Bain, the 2011 Daytona 500 winner, trying to go for his second 500 win. There's Kyle Busch who's got to come in to serve his pass through penalty. If he doesn't, he will be disqualified. 78 laps complete in the Daytona 500. Let's take you five side by side. Welcome back to the 56th journey of the Daytona 500. Oh, Trying to get it down. Almost runs with the back of Casey Kane. Had 116 out of 200 laps. We almost had an incident, but with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but you won't miss a thing. We're going to take the truck side by side in the Daytona 500. Welcome back to the Daytona 500. And you see the red weather radar. That is the big heavy storm cell that is close to the Daytona International Speedway. But let's hope it misses us and we can continue racing in the Daytona 500, which I think will. Matt Yoakum. Well, Mike, remember what happened to Matt Kinsley when he spun trying to get to his pit box, locking up the back tires, and all he wants is just Sunoco fuel and four tires and a little bit of wedge adjustment. Leading the Daytona 500 with so was 57 laps to go. We're gonna take a commercial break, but you don't miss a thing. We're gonna take the five side by side. The big one! Oh, turn to the four! Oh, Casey Car pull up! Here comes the last club! Paul Bernard going through the grass, Michael Walker, Justin Allgaier, Allgaier, David Gillen, and our oh, poster Mikey. Austin Hill. There's Michael Walker, will not get his third Daytona 500. There is Danica Patrick. Here I'm all going straight to the garage with his number 43. There's David Gillen who's stuck in the mud. And there's Danica Patrick. And Mike, Danica, she pounded that outside wall. Head there's on. Michael Walker. He hit the wall. You see David Gillen in the background, stuck in the mud. All right, let's take a look and see what happened. You see three cars, Harvick, Scott, and Amarola. Oh, Kevin Harvick came up right in front of Brian Scott and puts Amarola into the wall. These are posters are going around. And this is going to be a big hit right there. Oh, my. Wow. 
There's Michael Waltrip. And it's all started. Larry. Well, you see Kevin Harvick, I think he's just trying to come up. Thought he was clearing it right into the 33 Brian Scott Amarola, too. And Eric Amarola, for the fifth straight year, has been crashed out of lane trying to win the Daytona 500. You see, he collects our pole sitter. And our last year's pole sitter, Danica Patrick. And Amarola trying to go There's for the hand. Daytona 500 win, but looks like it will not happen tonight. There's Michael Watchup comes in off the outside wall. He's going to collect Justin Allgaier. Oh. Oh. That's Paul Menard going through the grass. And there's David Gillen. Hard through the grass. The car came off the ground. Poor Mikey. There's the hand cam on Amal Crash, crash, crash. Back it out. the break. All right, guys. We got caught up in it. Ford just wrecked the 33, which got him to us. Next on board is Danica Patrick. Mm -hmm. Three wide, three wide. Nine in the middle. Nine in the middle. Wreck it, wreck it, wreck it, wreck it. Back it down, back it down, back it down. Hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake. Hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake. Back it down, back it down, back it down. Hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake. Oh, my. Oh. Let me know if you're all right. Stop, we're under caution. We're going to take a quick commercial break. As the full run. I'm following you're right, 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 you are right you are Second big one in the seventh caution is out. Here in the 56 Daytona 500. Marcus Ambrose involved as well. There's Michael and that Chevy Pilot 7 around. Brian Vickers, Casey Kane. Have good luck this week. There's Ricky Kyle Larson. Got turned. And I believe it was our post at our Austin Dillon. There's Marcus Sandberg, a lot of surprise I think with his car. And it is, and there he is right there. Watch, watch the gun, watch the pulse of the car, right in the front of the car, and it makes contact. We're in the car, and the Daytona 500. We'll be back. So, with 30 laps, we're coming to 29 laps to go. How about we do our second NASCAR on Fox? Crank it up. Left to go, remaining in the Daytona 500. Del Mar Jr. still leads. There is Greg Biffle in the 16 running. Who got in the wall earlier? And then Jimmy Johnson right about their big side drop. Almost contact with Del Mar Jr. And man, that's going to give Greg Biffle a huge show and out to the front. Leading his first ever Daytona 500. Coming around the 27 laps to go. Battle for a second. And we're going to take a commercial break, but you won't miss a thing. We're going to take you Fox side by side. Mm. 
and Steve Burns on Bill Jr. I'm Trevor Bain, I'm Trevor Bain, I'm Bill Jr. The 2011 Daytona 500 winner who was having such a good day and now he is out of the 500. And the fourth car will come out. Huh. So with the caution being out, we're going to take a commercial break, and you won't miss a day. I'm going to take you Fox side by side. Welcome back to the 56th running of the Daytona 500. Steve Burns, how about Dale Hart Jr.? Well, Dale Jr. on the radio just said, Oh, my God, she's been cut by five. Oh, come on, the turn to the One car goes through, and he's cut by Spinning to the inside. He's going to keep it off the outside wall. Spins it in the grass. Going backwards. And he puts his two wheels on the pavement. If he can just get it rolling, he should be out of harm's way. And we're going to go to commercial break. As we're going to take you far. Side by side. Welcome back to the 56th running of the Daytona 500. Labonte and Parker Kligerman all involved with seven laps to go. This will be the oh. fifth car show of the day. There's Terry Labonte. We saw Parker Kligerman. There's Allgaier and Brian Scott, the two teammates. There's Ryan Newman. And we believe it is Austin Dunn again in the back of his teammate. So, we're going to take a quick commercial break as the fifth caution comes out. White flag, this stop by with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. on down to the lead in the Daytona 500. Comes on the block, and that black tape is helping down Jr. Come on, Jr., come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking for the Daytona 500 win. It's between Denny Hamlin and Brad Kowalski fought for second place. The black tape is holding up pretty well. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. now down the back of the machine line along the ham camp of Junior's car. Coming in a turn three and four for the final time in the Daytona 500. Who's going to win it? Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my Reed Sorensen and Drace ends up in a hard crash. Carl Edwards hard into the wall. Jane McMurray and Kevin Harvick are still stuck that. together. And there's Kyle Bush driving backward across the start finish line. Did that happen? That black tape did hold there's up. Dale Earnhardt Jr. with that black tape still stuck on his car. Wow. He wins the 500. Incredible. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the 2014 Daytona 500 winner. And Reese Sorensen's got his one in it down. So since Dale Earnhardt Jr. won the Daytona 500, we're going to take a quick commercial break and come back with the race winner. Welcome back. 
Welcome back to the Daytona 500. This is what happened on the last lap. Harvick up in the Kyle Bush and the Dean McMurray. Kyle Bush spins around, makes heavy contact. And more on the way. That's why the caution waves with the checker flag. And it's Dale and Hunt Jr. winning the Daytona 500. We'll be back with more after this.